All right, I'm uh, I'm deviating away from uh, some bike bits at the minute because we need tools to make bikes. So sometimes we're going to make the tools too. Um, anyone that's been watching this little shed show for a while uh, will know that I made this uh, lathe radius cutting tool holder uh, a year or two ago. Uh, it's actually been a really good video for me on YouTube because I think I've had over 100 subscribers off it um, and it's done a fair bit of work already. The reason I made that was so I could make some dies for me JD squared pipe bender there because they're about 300 400 quid a piece to buy was I, re I reckon I can make them for next to none. Uh, one of my mates I was, I was talking to in the pub the other night Saw it was on my phone trying to buy some uh, big lumps of metal. He said, oh, I'll, I'll get you that now. I can't credit his name or anything like that because he, uh, you know, he got them from the getting place at you know, his work or whatever. I don't know where he works and I've no idea what you would use 50 mil steel plate for, but he's turned up with these things burnt out of a big lump. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. He didn't know whether I was going to be able to use it or not. I thought he was just going to get me some round bar stock. Um, but, you know, I'll, uh, I'll I'll give it a shot because his mate, him and his mates had the right off burning these out. So I'm going to try and uh, give him a video back and see if we can actually turn their, their efforts into something. I've cleaned off the back of that one so I can get it in the lake. Um, we'll just see if we, can, uh, if we can turn it and see if we can get a uh, little groove cut in them. Um, I've got the I've got the bender machine over there, so I'll just take it over there and show you. Alright, so we can see that. Okay, uh, this is my attempt at all my copy of uh, the Pro Tools uh, tube tube bender. Uh, what I need on this thing is a radius, the same as what's on that. So I've taken out this uh, tube crusher two thousand there. Uh, I need a one inch hole through the middle of it because we need to fit, fit it in there so the tube goes through and this thing comes out and runs the former thing around it. Yeah, it's like a mandrel bender, but first thing I need to do is try and see if we can actually spin that in the lathe in there and cut that radius in it. So we'll, uh, we'll clamp it in the lathe now on that smooth bit and see if we can uh, see what happens. Basically, it's uh, trial and error, you know. Really building. All right, so oh, I've got uh, one of them little fellas in the uh, in the chuck there. Uh, this might be one of my dumbest ideas yet. Now, uh, well, if I die, then, uh, make sure my brother and uh, Mandy split the house between them and uh, give me bikes to the chopper club. There it goes. I think you might be able to see there the uh, the silver bits definitely getting a little bit bigger. So that's after about four four cuts. So maybe about another forty cuts. And we've got a supper that resembles round. We'll just keep it going some more.
So after about 10 or so passes, we've still got some burn marks to, uh, to deal with, but I'll just turn it a little bit. But we're getting more shiny. There's definitely more shiny coming through. So I'll just, uh, we'll just rig this up for another uh, few passes. I think, uh, I think this video is going to be in several sections. Or at least for my editing purposes anyway. So after about 10 or so passes, We've still got some burn marks to uh, to deal with, but I'll just turn it a little bit. But we're getting more shiny. There's definitely more shiny coming through. So we'll just uh, we'll just rig this up for another uh, few passes. I think uh, I think this video is going to be in several sections. Or at least for my editing purposes anyway. I've just got that set on there uh, on feed, you know. Ripping off the chips pretty good, like. Uh, as I've said before in other videos, don't mistake me for an engineer because I'm not. I don't pretend to be. I just know what I need and try and make it. I don't know what's worse, the tool noise or the backlash in the gearbox on this old lane. Skip ahead until we've got some more meat off that, and uh, we'll pick up maybe when it's uh, when we got it round. This bit is definitely round now, so I'm going to uh, take this out the chuck. That's going to be our datum now, and we'll rip off all these other burn marks and get it all even all the way around. Okay, so we've got that fella turned round now. I'm going to. Uh, Proceed to get rid of uh, that nonsense there. I'll uh, I'll start it off and then I'll fast forward till the uh, till it's round. So I've done a few passes and uh, already that bottom section is. Sort of 60% round, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just skip over them another half hour until we're there and pick up on some uh, radius cut. After a brief fast forward, there we now have a round thing. So now we want to cut this radius in here to uh to form the uh, die former for this for the tube I want to do a 28 mil former on this one so I've got a bit of 28 mil CDS tube there uh, it actually measures 28.5 so we've just done a little bit of maths so we know what to set this radius tool to so we've got 28.5 mil tube divide it in half so we get the radius 14.25 then we've got the diameter of this shaft here, which is 17.4. Again, divided by 2, 8.7. 14.25 minus 8.7 gives us 5.55 stick out on the 
on the cutting tool there. So I'll get that mounted in the lathe and we'll see if we can actually give this a proper test drive and uh, make it make it work and hang here, you know. So I'll set it up and uh, rig up the camera and take so, it with me. If you can see that okay, you can see I've got this radius tool stuck in the uh, in the quick change post there. Big lump still in the chuck. Uh, I've marked a, a centre line on it that you probably can't see on camera, but it is there. Just enough for me to pick a rough middle where to start from. And I've got a spanner on there so that we can bring this guy in and out. I might have to take the camera out the way a little bit and uh, reposition you once I get going because I want to get a full swing on this uh, as as we go in. So we'll uh, we'll just start with a couple of little cuts and see how we. Uh, Make off from there. Also, my arm gets in the way. Uh, I apologise in advance. I'm actually doing an oil change on the lathe while I'm running it live, so that just makes it better, doesn't it? You know. So I've just done a couple of passes there, and it's this this thing's working okay. As you can see, we're getting a uh, we're getting a nice clean radius on that. But I have found a couple of little flaws in my design. First being these corners on here are gonna foul me in I don't know the next ten or fifteen cuts. So I'm just gonna whip the tool out, get them get them off out the way because then the tool can go. All the way, all the way, home as deep as I need it without without these catching it. So I'll just go away and uh, chop them off, and then I'll I'll actually see if I can get you positioned a bit better. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with the way it's going. Um, lost a tiny bit of sharpness on the on the on the tool, but that could have just been a tip break off or soon on on one of the cuts. But yeah, it's okay. I'm 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 happy with it at the minute. So I'll just go and modify that, and then we'll get going again. Okay, so after a bit of experimenting uh, with my bit of uh, high speed steel I had in there, that wasn't man enough. Either that or it wasn't real high speed steel. Uh, I haven't got another bit the same size, so what I decided to do was go away and have a little think. And I came up with this idea of one of these, you know, replaceable tips. Um, and I cut the end off one of my boring bars and stuffed that in there. I had a mess bit of messing around you know, re-centering it because this just cuts on one corner there but I've just done a couple of little test passes now and centered it up and uh, where I was wearing away the uh, the high speed steel this is just chomping through it I mean we're, we're really we're, we're cleaving meat from flipping bone here um, so I think this is the way to go I'm going to uh, I'm probably going to chop up a couple more of these for you know different lengths different jobs and uh, and push on this way, but you know, just out of uh, out of balance. The the two previous sections I'll I'll have shown you will be my experimenting. Uh, I'd like to show my learnings, what and all. Like I've said before in other videos, I'm not an engineer, and I don't pretend to be. I'm just messing around. I I just know what I need, and I try and make it. Um, but yeah, this is. Um, this is working out a lot better than before, so I'll just fire this up and uh, and just show you where we're getting to here. Just find my goggles.
also I was playing around the speeds as well. Uh, at one point the slower speed below gear was working great. Uh, but then faster seems seems to be better for this for this little job. Probably be a good time to uh, grab a bit of pipe and see if it uh, see how that radius is getting on. I know we're nowhere near yet. Uh, it's actually perfect. I think uh, I'm just going to miss the jaws of the chuck, so that that's that's a good thing. But it, if I'm getting a bit close, there is the option just to move it over before I get right to the end. with a bit of luck you can see past all this uh, kelter here that we are getting somewhere where we want to be um, in my in my ideal world I think I'd like to be about another three or four mil deeper on the centre but I won't uh, I won't sort of uh, waste any more time videoing every little bit I'll I'll sort of jump forward until that's finished, but for now, I'll just film this. This will be the last cut for this video because I haven't got much memory left on this card. So I'll just film this last cut and then I'll wrap this one up and we'll move on to part two where we make the other fittings and we drill the hole in the middle there. So thanks for watching. I'll just put this last cut on now.
Okay, hopefully uh, you see that. All right. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. And there's going to be more of this sort of dipshittery in the next day or so. Cheers. Keep it in the ditches.